the tragedy of an extramarital affair with your wife. To hide his illicit relationship, Deng Guinia murdered his lover and two children after failing to persuade her to break up. Late on April 28, 2013, police received a report of a murder that occurred at a family home in Muya Town, Sichuan Province. Upon arriving at the scene, police found a room full of blood. A four-year-old girl dead with multiple head injuries. The other two victims, a 31-year-old mother and a 7-year-old girl, were taken to the hospital for emergency treatment. The homeowner, surnamed Mu, called the police. He said he had been playing mahjong until midnight and when he returned home, he found his youngest child lying in a pool of blood in the living room, while his wife and eldest daughter were lying in the back room. After several hours of emergency treatment, the seven-year-old girl also died due to severe injuries. Muck's wife, surnamed True, is still in a coma in the intensive care unit. Police found a bloody axe on the first floor of the house. Tests showed that the blood belonged to the three victims, but the killer left no fingerprints, indicating that he had prepared for the crime. There were many bloody shoe prints left by neighbors in the house, and the crime scene was destroyed, so the police could not collect many valuable clues. Villagers said that Mu's family was not well off because they had spent a lot of money four months ago to buy their current two-story house. The couple had to pay a total of 180.000 yuan, but could only scrape together 130.000 yuan as a down payment, with the rest to be paid in monthly installments. The town of Muyu is small. Almost everyone knows each other and understands each other's circumstances. So the possibility of murder for money is unlikely. After checking the belongings, Mu confirmed that no money was missing and there were no signs of ransacking the house. Therefore, the investigator concluded that the motive for the crime could be revenge or emotional conflict. Through investigation, Muck often argued while playing Mahjong, even fought with others just a few days before the murder. However, the person who argued with Muck had an alibi. Muck also had no suspicious points, other than playing Mahjong. He only worked for money, did not have any affairs. Meanwhile, True had an ex-boyfriend who had promised to marry her. But her parents objected, so they broke up. But the two still kept in touch. The police found out that this person had gone to Shenzhen to work and was unlikely to have committed the crime. After marrying Muck, True only stayed home to take care of her children and had no suspicious relationships in the eyes of the neighbors. Speculating that the perpetrator might be someone from another place who committed the crime. The police retrieved surveillance camera data around town and then discovered unusual details. The Muck house has two floors. The first floor has a private room rented to Dang Winnia and Loy Hulan. Initially, when questioned by the police, the couple said that they had gone to their mother's house on the day of the incident and were not at home, so they did not know what happened. However, surveillance cameras recorded Nia appearing in town on the evening of April 28th. This shows that the couple lied. The police focused on investigating Nia, discovering that he left Mak Engu with his wife and children at around 3 p.m. on April 28th. But at around 4 p.m., Nia returned alone by another route and left town by motorbike at around 10 p.m. Thus, Nia was present in Mak Engu when the murder occurred. When the police arrived at Nia's parents' in-law's house, Nia and Lon were both out, with only Lan's sister washing her brother-in-law's bloody clothes and shoes. Terrified when she saw the police, Lan's sister confessed that Nia had killed someone, then asked her to help clean the clothes. While he and his wife fled, not long after, Nia and his wife were arrested by the police when they tried to drive past the checkpoint. At the same time, True woke up in the hospital, revealing the hidden secret behind the murder that killed his two daughters. Nia and True admitted to having an illicit relationship that lasted for nearly a year without anyone knowing. The extramarital affair began in July 2012. At that time, Muck was working elsewhere and asked his neighbor and good brother Nia to help take care of his wife and children in case of an emergency. Unexpectedly, not long after that, the two began a sexual relationship. For months ago, Muck's family bought a new house. True felt that she was too far away from Nia, so she whispered to her husband that Nia's family moved to the first floor and rented out at a low price. 
Nia also wanted to maintain this ambiguous relationship. So he agreed, although they live in the same house. The affair between the two was never discovered. During their relationship, Zhao often asked Yi for spending money, 200 to 300 yuan each time. She would then buy new clothes and show them off in front of Yi's wife. Although she knew his wife did not suspect him, Yi was still worried and uneasy about Zhao's provocative actions. Fearing that the affair would be exposed sooner or later, Nia suggested breaking up and moving to another place. But True refused. Nia was determined to cut off ties with his lover as soon as possible. On April 28th, Nia took his wife and children back to his parents' house and went to see True alone to convince him to break up peacefully. He knew that at that time, Muk went to play Mahjong and True stayed home with his two daughters. The two argued when True demanded at least 10.000 yuan to break up and threatened to tell her husband everything. Seeing this, Nia pulled out an axe and threatened to kill her. Unexpectedly, True became even more aggressive, cursing and telling his eldest daughter to go and call her father back, fearing that the matter would be exposed. Nia swung his axe and attacked the mother and her three children one by one, then ran away. When he returned, he confessed to his wife. Although angry at her husband for having an affair, Lon still helped him cover up his crime out of love for attempted murder and causing serious injury. Nia was sentenced to death. Lon and her sister were also in prison for covering up. If you found this interesting and helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to motivate our channel to create even more great videos. See you all in the next videos and wishing you joyful moments and exciting discoveries.